What is going on guys? We are here at Bahia Honda State Park. You can see the campgrounds right over there and the bridge right over there. This is one of the most beautiful parks in the Florida Keys. It's always a must stop for everyone. But today we are out on the kayak. We got our live shrimp floating in the back over there. We got a little bit of frozen mullet and we're gonna be fishing the Bahia Honda Bridge right over here. It's supposed to be one of the best fishing bridges here in the Florida Keys. It's known for huge tarpons, like 150 pounds plus. I don't really want to hook a tarpon that big in this kayak, but I'd love to get on some big snappers or anything like that because today, or tonight actually, we are going to be camping out in the campgrounds over there. This is going to be a survival video, or it was supposed to be a little bit more of a survival, but circumstances didn't work out too much. But we are still going to be eating tonight, cooking up over an open flame, what we catch here, and having a great time, and you guys are coming along with me. So I'm gonna paddle out to the bridge over there, and I'll see you guys when I get out there. Oh, finally guys, we're hooked up. Oh my God, finally. <laughs> this is the first fish I've got in hours. And it's a puffer fish, are you kidding me? It's a puffer fish. Oh my God. So I caught him on a chunk of ballyhoo that I put out. Guys, I've been fishing out here for a while. Well, we can at least say we got the skunk off the boat because that was my first fish in probably an hour of fishing live shrimp and cut mullet on the bridge. I mean, I can't believe it guys. I, I figured I would get tons and tons of bite. I could barely lose bait out here. It's kind of crazy. Very unexpected. I figure I should probably actually explain what is going on in this video right now. Um, so currently I am standing up in my kayak for the first time ever, which was definitely cool, but this kayak is not meant to stand up in. But fishing here in the flats in the Florida Keys, I really want to get a better vantage point to see the water, so I decided to just stand up. And it actually worked out pretty good, but the entire time I was on the flats, I actually only saw one fish, which was definitely a little disappointing. So this day definitely did not go as planned. Originally I wanted to camp on an island for the night, but there were too many circumstances that weren't lining up for that to happen, so I ended up here at Bahia Honda State Park, which is an absolutely beautiful state park. And I still intended on doing everything that I wanted to do on the island here at the state park instead. But the Florida Keys fishing, man, it just was not working out the way I thought it was. This entire day out on the kayak, I only caught two puffer fish. And I was out there with live shrimp and frozen mullet, fishing both the flats and the structure, and it, things just were not working out the way I thought they would. So needless to say, I did not catch any dinner out there, which threw yet another curveball into my plans for the day, but I wasn't going to let that kill my spirit. <laughs>
we made it. This is our campsite. This is where I'm sleeping for tonight. Um, so if everything went according to plan right now, I would be getting ready, collect some firewood, and set my tent and everything, get ready and prepare my fish for my survival kind of video today, but not get a fish, so we gotta figure out what to do now. I am gonna set up my tent and all my campsite and get my gear out, and then I'm uh, gonna collect firewood because definitely gonna have a fire tonight. After that, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do though. think there she is that's gonna be home for tonight thought the website said that this place came with a fire pit but the only thing we have is this grill so we're gonna be safe here and we're gonna have the fire in that grill just because I don't think they want you having a fire on the ground um, but in order to have a fire we need to collect firewood so let's go explore a little bit get some firewood before the sun goes down because it's almost down and then we got to think about food see all this really small stuff that you guys just saw me grab this stuff is perfect for fire starter it is bone dry it's small it'll light first and it allowed us to bait to build the foundation for our fire very easily Everything fails today. It seems like everything didn't go the right way. You end up with some Winn Dixie fried chicken and some Mike Hard to enjoy the rest of the night. Cheers, guys. Got our fire going pretty nice right now. Um, it took a little bit. I didn't have really the proper setup to get the fire started, but I just want to take a minute be real with you guys about my What I was really planning to do here uh, as this video flopped a little bit So if you guys stick around for this you guys are the real ones Thank you very much for your support if you guys don't want to watch this I understand but basically I came down here to the Florida Keys uh, to go to a wedding as I mentioned in my last video and I was planning on doing a ton of fishing and this tonight was supposed to be my uh, my big night here I was supposed to do a 24 hour survival video where I was going to go on an island. Um, I was trying to figure out what island I was going to go to, but I was going to kayak to an island. I brought a tent with me, sleeping bag, all that kind of stuff. And I was going to survive for 24 hours only on what I catch. And I thought it would be a really cool idea, um, video, super entertaining for you guys. Um, but it didn't work out for a lot of reasons. Honestly, I was a little bit unprepared for the video. and. I just got a little too stressed out over it that it was kind of affecting me a little bit so I decided to cancel that so that's why we're here at Bikia Honda Park they had an open campsite for tonight so I booked it and just went with to roll with it and I kind of was thinking about doing the same survival kind of video for today but that ended up not really working out too well for me I was fishing the Bikia Honda bridge there for a lot of hours using live shrimp and cut mullet and I ended up getting pretty much nothing, nothing even worth to talk about. I'm pretty much only like a puffer fish is all I got out of that. And I was super surprised because I felt live bait, you know, and everything. I thought it would be perfect. And uh, yeah, things, things down here in the Keys honestly have just not been going the way I thought they would as far as fishing. Still having a good time. I'm honestly just not catching a fish. Actually tonight in between um, when I got here set up and everything and now in the fire, I went out and fished for a little bit just on my own without the GoPro just to have a little bit of fun, use up some bait. And uh, I actually caught my first ever bonnet head shark. So I threw a picture of that on my Instagram. Um, yeah, so it was super cool to catch. You know, <laughs> that's my, my best thing I've caught this week. And you know, I thought I would have a little bit easier time out here fishing and it's not really appearing that way. So I'm gonna keep going and grinding every day, trying to learn the Florida Keys here as this is a completely new fishery for me. So I always gotta keep that in mind. I'm always exploring these new areas. And uh, you know, I, I have no 
I, it's gonna sound funny. I have no like local friends or anything like that. I don't have anybody giving me tips in their back pocket or anything like that. You know, all I'm doing is Google searching YouTube and stuff like that, and just going based on my own, my own fishing knowledge and trying to figure out what to do. So, um, probably like a lot of you guys that you know vacation or go fish to a new spot, you you know you probably like me, you know, and you know you don't have those insider local knowledge that some people get when they go to a new area and stuff. So, I'm out here, I'm fishing, I'm having a good time camping for the first time in four years and absolutely loving it again uh, definitely going to be doing some more camping and survival videos so if you guys are into that make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below um, make sure you guys stay notified because i'm definitely going to be doing another attempt at the island survival i have some better ideas in mind of where i can actually do it and have a little bit more success and uh yeah so a little real talk sorry for the little rant but yeah florida key has been a lot of fun i just haven't been catching the fish that i thought i would so you know, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> so for tonight, I am, you know, I was gonna take this video into the next morning, but I don't think there's really any reason since this really isn't a 24 hour survival challenge as I got fried chicken, Mike's Hard Lemonade there from, uh, from Winn-Dixie. So uh, I'm gonna sign off from this video now. Thank you guys so much for sticking around uh, and look forward to some more Florida Keys content. Hopefully the videos in the future have a little bit more better fishing action. Uh, I think I'm gonna go out on a drift boat and yeah we'll see what happens but make sure you guys stay tuned hit the like button if you guys enjoyed consider subscribing down below it really helps me out a lot until my next video remember to keep living salty